March the 22nd, 2024. Slash one person. Yeah, we got one person. That's pretty good on our show tonight. I'm Dana Durnford, and you can call into these live shows at 709-589-4406. We have a poll for everybody tonight. With 736, which is a picture we're going to cover tonight, unseen before Fukushima drone pictures, Released in 2021, a message for humanity to make Earth's last stand. And so that might sound like a strange poll. Um, these pictures weren't released until the 10th an- just before the 10th anniversary. And they're drone pictures. We're just going to slowly go through these pictures. And my brain has been bothering me all day. I get no rest until I do these pictures. That seems to be. <clears throat> so these pictures are surreal. They were released. And uh, you can see the top of this building right there is redacted for some reason. And all the tops of these buildings are redacted. Look at that. I never noticed that the last time. And so there were 736 pictures from a drone. And these pictures are unusual because they they never existed before. And so they originally showed up, and I found them in 2021, Uh, all the roofs of all the buildings are redacted. You can see the, the brilliant, perfect colors. Let me zoom in on um, the two blue ones up in the top right-hand corner here. Well, that might be real. This is the original footage that came out of uh, Fukushima. So when I, you know, I, I, re- I remember almost like it was yesterday. There was... Uh, 25 pages in the search engine. Uh, I was using Google search engine. There was 25 pages of news on Fukushima. And so, you know, 230 stories maybe, right? From that day's 24-hour news cycle. And I remember um, methodically going through all the pages. I had opened all the pages in the browser and then I went through every story and to do a show that night. And uh, it was the very last page, or it was the last couple of pages actually, and <clears throat> most of the stories had already gathered up that day, and I was just double check for any extra information. And so did, remember now, this is the original pictures. This will make sense for you in a few minutes. <clears throat> you can see the debris over there. Uh, all over the place. That's from the dead, one of the detonations, I would imagine. And so, anyway, I get to the end of the news cycle. It was January, the the tenth year. And the last story was a Chinese story, and I, I was so tired, I almost just closed the page, and I was like, uh, "One more story is not going to hurt me." And so I, I had to translate it because it's in Chinese, and I went over, and it, it wasn't really making any sense. <clears throat> and um, some, but there were some mistakes in the translation, right? So I'm reading through it, and I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to start screen capturing it. And I was look, That's what I do, is I'll read the whole story first, and I'll, if, if the story's got a bunch of lies into it, then I'll come out and challenge them that night. And we're trying to keep the story of Fukushima alive, so it's it is what it is. And that's how I'm doing it. And the only people that are interested in this are the industry itself, for the most part, right? And they were talking about pictures, and I was like, I probably got the same pictures. I was like, Pff. I got so many pictures, it's hard to wrap your mind around. 
And then the, as I scrolled to the bottom, I read all the way to the bottom, and, and then I was scrolling down further looking for the comments, see if I can pick, make some sense of it, because it wasn't really making sense to me, and I seen all these links to a TEPCO pages. And so I clicked the link, and it uh, downloaded a folder of these pictures. And I was like, oh shit, what have I got here? And I didn't recognize none of the pictures. And they were drawn pictures like this, and it didn't make any sense. So I, I was passing through the pictures, and I was going like this, and it still, it, it didn't dawn on me what I was looking at. I couldn't comprehend. And then I started to realize, oh yeah, because I was looking kind of over here and over there, and all of a sudden I realized the reactors look awful funny in these pictures. Because it it, when I first started looking at the pictures, like when you take the first, very first picture and, and you zoom in on it, <coughs> you're like, shit, that, that's pretty high quality. That's what that is. And this is the original footage. It's from a drone. Why would they release this? I just couldn't make any sense out of it. So anyway, you know how how it works for someone like me. I'm just poking along and I'm clicking along and I don't realize what I'm looking at. And I probably went through 50 pictures or something, I think it is. And then, then it struck me, wait, wait a second, go back, go back, go way back. And so I went back, and this was the first picture where you start to see the reactors up in the top corner. <coughs> and I, I zoomed in on it, and I was like, what am I looking at? Debris, debris. And then it struck me up in the top corner, <coughs> everything is pixelated. And I was like, what? I couldn't really comprehend what I was looking at. This is the original pictures. And so when I click on the next picture, <coughs> I wasn't zoomed in, actually. I zoom in again, and um, I, I go through the process and drag, drag it down. And I, I said, what the hell? Is that the reactors? That can't be the reactors. That can't be the reactors. But yeah, that's the reactors. And so why, what's going on here? And so I start frantically going through the pictures, <coughs> and I, and it started to dawn on me, every, every, all the reactors were looking like they were redacted, but they weren't all always redacted, completely redacted, right? This is right after the explosion, the meltdowns. This was the original drone footage that TEPCO shot, but was released 10 years later with no explanation. To, there was no media carried it under this one Chinese uh, site. It was just pure luck that I found it. And I said, holy shit, why is everything redacted? Because this is 10 years later, and, and you know, I thought I've seen it all, had all the pictures, had all, all the information, and I was like, holy smokes, that's, the stack up there is redacted. And out in front of the stack is all redacted, but I can see reactor one, I can see re most of reactor two, and you see partial, or half of reactor three. And it, and, it, and it slowly started to dawn on me. Because just you're facing the sea if you're looking that way. And this is the common span fuel pool. Well, I think it is. No, it's the next building. We'll see. <coughs> and I've I've never seen any like this before. This was this was right after detonation. It was very high quality. It was very high quality for a drone. But originally I, I didn't zoom in, right? But once I started zooming in, started looking at the pictures. Now, now my interest is sky high. That's the pump houses, and you can see the damage in the top of the pump house. That's probably from one of the fuel assemblies going through it, from reactor three, because reactor three totally, completely annihilated. 
And so you see that tank there? That's in the middle of the road. That doesn't belong there. And you can see how the tank is compressed on the bottom from the atmospheric pressures. But um, you can see debris screwed everywhere from the detonations. And it's just almost too much to take in, right? It's, you, you know, it's a big site. These are huge sites. But it really starts to bother me that I can't understand why the reactors that are redacted and are, these pictures are being released 10 years later. What was it they were hiding? And so, uh, that's reactor one, reactor two is in the center. Reactor three is in the center, and the remains of it. And reactor four is right alongside of react Reactor four is actually right here. So the drone is flying around. You're going to get these different angles. And not all of them are going to show the reactors. They start showing you the common span fuel pool, reactor five and six. And so this, this is the original pictures we're looking at. Now, I'd done a video on this before, but the video was where I had zoomed in on the pictures because I was having problems doing it with on my operating system, right? Now I've long since got that figured out. And it's even better quality this time, right? But anyway, there's this voice in my head all day long, will not leave me alone, was to do a show on these pictures. And I was like, oh, it's Saturday, or Friday, it's my Saturday, it's my first day off. I do five shows a week. And this, I believe, we'll find out after, this, I believe, is the, the cast uh, building where they keep the dry cast to. And... Uh, we showed we show the interior of those buildings. To, everything was washed out of the buildings. Yeah, so that's reactor three. Reactor four is way over here. Not way over there, but at, just slightly at a, sh at a site. So when you... Sh let's go down and look at this. Now we can start to see down by the sea. And you can see the incredible damage. But what's missing from these pictures is people. What's missing from the picture is the fire there's the fire trucks right right here now there was there's uh, three fire trucks on that site two of them were destroyed by the tsunami one of them survived there was 1200 miles of the coastline let me go back here see the roof of that building that's full of holes which is something I never noticed before. And so the fire trucks, so the, the reactors are up here, and you can see partial uh, reactor one. You can see most of the top of the building, but you can't see the side of it, and you can't see the stack. There's the stack is right there in, in the center of the screen right now. And right alongside of it is reactor two, or reactor two. And it's all pixelated, uh, the whole road, the whole area. And then there's reactor three. Reactor three clearly, <coughs> despite the fact that the majority of it is pixelated, you can see this, this was a serious event. But we still don't see reactor four in these pictures. And these buildings here are the pump houses. Right there are the pump houses. And so the fire trucks, I'll slow down in a second, are quite a long ways away, right? Because these are lethal doses anywhere around here. And they're, they got hoses. Again, you're not seeing heavy equipment. You're not seeing... You can see that building's down there. The roof of is punched full of holes. And everything is torn up from the tsunami, pushed up. And so as I was uh, 
going through the pictures, I started realizing why is all the reactors pixelated? It's just why is and this was what was playing through my head over and over and over. Why why are they releasing this now? And but the only thing I can I can come up with is that it counters the official story. And it counters it dramatically because these were the original pictures. So who who had access to these pictures and why did they release them when they did in the tenth year? Ten, why did they wait ten years? Uh and I never did get the answers to that. I never did get the answers to it, and I probably never will. But hopefully, so the drone is moving around, and we're starting to open up the site a bit more. But we still haven't seen reactor four. So we'll keep keep clipping you around. At one point, the drone goes out over the ocean. <coughs> Excuse me. You see a big oil slick along this, the whole coastline of the site there. Now, a tsunami just ran through a couple of days before this. Uh, there's lethal doses everywhere. The reactors had detonated and left uh, some of them, like reactor three, that only left a stump behind. That was all pixelated out, of course, and it was... So we got these pictures of the of the ocean front. We see significant oil spills, of course, as you would expect. You had 1,200 miles of the coastline. So some of these pictures, I just basically glossed over. Now the drone turned around and came back in. So now all of a sudden we have a different angle. And it c I still can't comprehend why these pictures are released. That that is that had really bothered me. And then I think that night we'd done a show on these pictures. And that was the video that's in my playlist right now. So now we're doing it with the convenience of high hindsight. Which is which is convenient. These are the pump houses. Reactor uh, four, three two and one, or vice versa, right? No, no, that's right, yeah. So reactor four starts to open up. Let's go up there and look at it. You can see reactor four up there opened up. And uh, I think that's the only picture. And this is lethal doses everywhere. The only people going there are the victims of society who don't understand. And this was one of the few pictures where we actually had a good glimpse, Reactor 3. And you can see in between the buildings, total, total devastation, right? And uh, Reactor 2, you can actually see the panel that blew out. These are huge. It's hard to appreciate how big these buildings actually are. And Reactor 1. And so these were all 100% nuclear meltdowns. So then the next picture, we started to get everything pixelated again. And so it does look like there's fire trucks there, don't it? As hose is strewed along that road there. But there's not no, n there's not no big presence, right? So this is reactor four, and that looks like it could be the pump truck, but I'm not sure it is right at this stage. And these tall stacks is how they vent the reactor building's fuel pools, because the reactor cores are always. Uh, hemorrhaging radiation. 
because they boil off the fuel pools constantly. They have to be replenished all the time. So the pixelation really is really concerning. But now I notice up in the top left-hand corner across the street, everything is pixelated. And that's the common spend fuel pull up right there, which would have had around almost 12 million pounds into it. Each of the reactors had at least 6 million pounds into them. And now in, with all this hindsight of everything else, uh, again, when you go up here and you look at the common spend fuel pool, Actually, I can make this a bit better for us. Bear with me one second. And what am I doing here? Let's go back to this. Well, let's give this a try. So I should be able to zoom in on that spot fairly quick on its own, and that'll take some a few minutes to get used to it. So we got reactor four pixelated. The common spin fuel pool is pixelated. Uh, reactor three is right there in between reactor three. The street on that side of it is all pixelated. Uh, now we're starting to see the common spin fuel pool in the top corner. And the common spent fuel pool is all pixelated out. So why would you do that? And you can see something up in the top corner. And up there is, this is transport trucks piled up, uh, containers, so it's piled up behind the common spent fuel pool. And the common spent fuel pool in its entirety is pixelated out. This is stunning footage. This is brain-shattering footage that was released in the 10th year with no explanation. And so you got reactor 4 to your, to right behind me. Then you got reactor 3 is right behind me. Reactor 2 is right behind me. And reactor one now is right behind where I'm sitting here. <clears throat> and you can see uh, debris got tossed quite far. Like the, the buildings and them themselves. It looks like the tsunami pushed up to there somewhere. And behind the building of the common spin fuel pool. And so it's very, it's very, um, very telling, and because that's the administration building up there in the top left-hand corner. That's where a lot of the pictures now you'll see coming from, where they have delegates or whatever. They have a, a little cantilever built right there where they get people out there to take their pictures, so they can prove they're at Fukushima. <clears throat> now, you know, there's a lot going on in the background. You can see the detonation of Reactor 3, and this is the plume on 26 days radiation covers the entire planet. So these pictures are very significant because this is an extinction-level event, the Fukushima nuclear meltdowns. So you're trying to make sense of <clears throat> something that nobody else seems to be questioning. And yet you don't have any academics to come out and actually articulate anything or explain anything or give us any kind of details. And so we're, we're kind of left to wander around trying to figure it out. And, and after 13 years, we, we figured this out. We definitely got this figured out. So the drone is headed inland, <coughs> then it makes a turn, <coughs> excuse me, 
and I, I don't know if I ever zoomed zoomed in on these picture, pictures because it didn't seem like there was anything. I was more interested in something obviously pixelated, right? And so you can see what that wall right there obviously would have been out in line with that other wall up there. That had been pushed out of deport out of proportion. But generally, I didn't really see anything that stood out for me. And this is the original footage from TEPCO's site of the nuclear meltdown site that was hid away from the population for 10 years and then silently released and wasn't reported on. So now we're, we're headed back towards the site. That's Reactor 4 in the top center. That's Reactor 4 in the top center. I'm going to go up there for a second. I smurfed it up today. That's the common span fuel pool right there. So why is that all pixelated out? What's the catalyst for pixelating the common span fuel pool? Now we know the tsunami washed all the way to the back there. Because that, that common span fuel pool is on the same level as reactor f 1, 2, 3, and 4. And so you notice how everything is pixelated is now when you zoom, but when you're zoomed out, it doesn't register quite the same way. But the minute you start zooming in, because <coughs> the average person would look at it and doesn't know where the reactors are to, they don't know where the common spin fuel pool is to, they don't know any of the details. So for the average person, it doesn't have many meanings to it, right? The common spin fuel pool is pretty significant. That's that is, is not pretty significant. It's incredibly significant. And you're trying to glean some some sense out of all this. <clears throat> and you can see the debris pile up because you're heading south this way. This is headed south. And I believe that's the incinerator, is it? Right there. All nuclear power plants have incinerators because they're legally allowed to burn radioactive waste because there's no checks and balances. <clears throat> there's no checks and balances. So slowly but surely, like at this point, I'm... I'm my brain can't wrap around why is the common spin fuel pool pixelated completely out and reactor one, two, three, and four. And why were the pictures released? And so when I was originally doing this and that night we'd done a show, we didn't, didn't really have a lot of time to digest because it was all in the same day, right? But you're not seeing the thousands of people they claim was there working at all. And the reason is because there's lethal doses everywhere. These buildings detonated, right? <clears throat> and so the buildings had it now because it, we have hindsight. I realize we're starting to head towards reactor five and six. Let me go back. And up there, that building up right there, the rectangular buildings in the center is the common uh, is a uh, dry cast storage <clears throat> that's the dry cast storage and the pictures that we have of, of on the ground because we have 1900 pictures on the ground that showed up later or earlier shows a lot of the some dry cast still there but quite a few cradles are missing <clears throat> Can we go back to that for a second? So this right here is pixelated out. See that? <clears throat> we didn't notice that before. See that whole section pixelated out? We've never seen that before. What were they hiding right there, I wonder? What landed right there? 
Let me get a big picture of this. So the pixelation goes all the way over here. Look at that. Wow. Let me back this up first. I'll center it. Yeah, why is this place pixelated out? I'm not sure what the hell is there. I'm going to have to look it up on the map, I guess. Yeah, so that whole section up there is pixelated out for some reason. So we're still, we're headed towards reactor five and six. So we're rolling towards reactor five and six. I should back up for a second. Let's scan everything and look for anything that's pixelated on the way to reactor five and six. <clears throat> right now I'm not seeing nothing in particular, but I, I barely cut that last one. Which and so we're coming back to reactor four. So that's the common spin fuel pool. So I would imagine quite a few pictures are missing. That's okay, let's do this again. So that's reactor, common spin fuel pool is right here. Reactor four, three, two, and one are in that picture. We're looking for, it's not it heads out to sea. Turns around, comes back in. And now I think it heads down again to reactor five and six. Or no, it heads into inland a little ways. So why is reactors one, two, three, and four pixelated out? Why is the common spin fuel pool pixelated out? Oh, we're head we're now we're headed from the sea again, right? So they didn't release all the pictures, obviously. And that's the administration building up there. We're looking for anything extra pixelated that we didn't pick up on the first time. So now the drone moves interior, and I was pointed back towards the ocean. And we're looking for anything extra that's pixelated. That's okay. It's going to go to the ocean. And it's going to turn around, or we'll see what it does now. So now it's doing the same thing where it's headed back for another pass. And you can imagine how heavy the radiation doses are around this site. It's inconceivable, right? It's inconceivable. That's the common spin fuel pool right here. That's completely pixelated. Out. I'm looking for anything extra that's pixelated or that we didn't notice right this moment while we're doing this. And reactor four is in the center. Reactor three is in the center. Reactor two is in the center. And reactor one is right here. I'm just doing this so people that are not familiar are watching this later because this is a, Sarah, a Friday show. We don't usually do shows on Friday. <coughs> and the reason I don't do shows on Friday is to give people a break, not to give myself a break as much. Because I used to do, for many, many years, we've done seven days a week, right? It looks like it's pixelated up there in the corner, don't it? Let's go back to that one. Yeah, that's pixelated up in the corner. What if they got pixelated up there, I wonder? What is up here that they would pixelate? Because that's way up there in the middle of nowhere. What is up there that could have melted down? Was there fuel stored up there too that we don't know about? Let's go backwards so you can get some context of where it's to. Just the common spin fuel pool. So right beyond the common spin fuel pool, 
quite a ways back. And we want to check the force for any other pixelations there on the way there. So that's two spots. Let me go backwards. That's two new spots we found that were pixelated we never seen before that we missed on the first pass, right? So why is this area up here pixelated? That's quite interesting. I'm going to have to look it up on the map to find out what the frig is up there. Because I, I got no idea what's up there. So now we're making another pass. We're going back towards the site. And hopefully this one now we start heading all the way down the shoreline. Because there's some, let me go back a little bit. So we want to look at this tank right here and a couple of tanks right there. And then we want to look at the dry cash storage site, which is right there in the center right now. But I want to come back and look at these tanks. That's reactor one right there in the center. So look at the tank right there. That's actually on a road, right? And you can see the damage. It's not from banging into stuff. It's from compression of the ocean rising up, right? So the tank was full, obviously, or pretty well full. But you're not seeing very much activity, are you? Now this tank here, over the years, I've showed a lot of pictures of that. And there's a couple of people out there who used to come after me every time I would show that picture and say, that's not Fukushima. Because these pictures didn't exist until uh, 2021, right? We didn't get to see them, rather, until 2021. So it looks like we're headed over towards reactor 5 and 6. There they are up in the top corner. Now, at this point, as soon as I looked, I was looking for reactor 5 and 6, and I can see right away, it looked like both of them, reactor 5 and 6, were pixelated. Because we got hindsight, we're going to take our time. And again, let me go back a little ways to the right over there. We want to look for any extra pixelated sites on the way over there. And I'm talking about up there somewhere, right? Because I, I became fixated on reactor 5 and 6 up in this top center. And so I'm just going to scan to my left here first. And we're going to look for anything pixelated before we get up to reactor 5 and 6. So this is the, the dry storage. We just want to check up here for anything that's pixelated that stands out. And we can see up in the top there, that's in the center. Top center is reactor 6. And in top center now is the, the pump house. And I'm looking around for anything else that's pixelated. The stack is also pixelated. So let's go look at reactor 5 and 6. Now reactor 6 it doesn't appear to be pixelated, which is this building right here. But behind it is reactor 6. So reactor 5. We want to check down on the seaside first. Tremendous damage. Everything is torn apart down there. We'll come back to that in a second. So reactor, why is reactor 6 pixelated? So we got reactor 1, 2, 3, 4, reactor 6, and a common spin fuel pole. All pixelated. We also got another site was pixelated, and, or two different sites that we found were pixelated that were quite a ways away from the reactors. Which really, until we can identify, it's going to be very difficult to answer what was there, that they, why did they pixelate whatever was there. And we, we need to know that. And we need to know this week. And so even the stack to your left here, 
is pixelated. And that's not an accident. They were they pixelated because of something. There had to be a reason to pixelate that stack right behind me right there. So what made, and why is reactor five and six and the pump house pixelated? This is reactor six, where they said there was no damage. And let me bring up some headlines in reactor six very quick here. Because I, I, off the top of my mind, I know there's some issues there, but I can't remember what they were, so I'll bring them up. Here we go. My brain is fluttering right now, trying to wrap its mind around it. Let me see what we got here. Yeah, I'm not seeing what I thought I was going to see. Just hang on here. Oh, reactor five and six. Okay. I'm going to back that up, obviously. All the way down it. Major study. Reactor 5 release may explain why so much radioactive xenon was detected or a recriticality had occurred in one of the reactor units. So bear with me. Let me look at a couple more of these headlines. Reactor 5 and 6 were not in cold shutdown after the quake employed a report from the United States Nuclear Industry the cooling at the spent fuel pool number five stopped until cables were installed and that fresh fuel had been loaded in both reactors. But they don't, they don't load the whole reactor, right? They only take out maybe one third of the reactor core. Let's go back to these pictures. Here's the next picture. I must have screwed up or something. Let me go backwards. What? Yeah, I screwed up somewhere along the way here. Reactor 5 and 6. Let's get back at that. Let me go backwards. Right there. That's the last one in that series. So I want to go back down and look at these tanks first down here on the seaside. That one there is obviously washed up. This one still looks like it's, and this one is completely just ripped apart, right? You can see it, it just, it imploded from the atmospheric, or the pressure of the ocean surrounding it. So it was probably full, right, when it done that. So reactor six is pixelated completely out, and so is the pump house. And so is a large part of the stack. And let's just go look behind it for a second. That's okay. So now the drone is back at, it's pointed out towards the ocean. And at the same time, I'm just scanning right now for any more pixelation that we didn't see before. Okay. So we're on the back side of the common spin fuel pool, which is right here. And that's completely pixelated out. So why is reactor six completely and the pump house completely pixelated out? Why is the common span fuel pool completely pixelated out? Why is the back road 
between reactor one and four pixelated out. What were they hiding? Because the official story now, today, is nothing got out of these buildings whatsoever. Uh, it was equal to three grams of sugar, is what a South Korean professor of nuclear and quantum engineering is saying, right? And the International Atomic Energy Agency says nothing got it whatsoever. And now they're promoting nuclear as the savior. They refuse to acknowledge re uh, geothermal as a base load energy. Then we covered that last night. But uh, it's an 11-hour video, and, and I was going to download it today because yesterday you can only, only downloaded four hours of it because I guess it still wasn't rendered at uh, evil Google's servers. So the drone is headed back out to sea. And there's not much I can take away from this right now. Uh, like the tsunami, let me bring up some pictures of the original of the tsunami coming into the site. Because we have hindsight. I have no idea what we're looking at. Just wait, waiting for the system to catch up. So we'll, we'll let that catch up and we'll get back to these pictures. So these are zoomed out pictures. I'm not zoomed in right now. The drone is going to turn around and we get another view of the site. So up in the top left-hand corner, hopefully that goes further inland because that's where we've seen the pixelated up in the top left-hand corner the first time, right? That we never seen the last time, I believe. Just bear with me. No. Let me go back a couple. Yeah, so it's not there. And that's reactor five right here. So this is the back side of reactor five. Let me, I gotta go a little further to make sure. Yeah, that's the back side of reactor five. Let's go backwards. And then the pump house is up there too. All right, so that's the pump house in the center right now. And, or rea and that's reactor six. And so they got everything pixelated out on this side and the pump house. So you assume something came out of the buildings to quantify them doing this. And now you can see this, the left side of reactor six. And so they have pixelation up right there, but not up at the feet of the, the stack. Right, because that's a stack up there. The pixelation is only the right here. And this side of reactor six. And the pump house is half of it. It's pixelated. So there's something obviously had to happen here. Otherwise, why would you pixelate reactor six, right? Why were these pictures released 10 years later with no explanation, no fan fill? And why has nobody ever covered it except for me? That's the really sad part of this is nobody's having a conversation. So up here is the Dry storage, cast storage.
Now, the tsunami ran right through this building. You can see cars tipped over up in front. And there's, there's no doubt that some of these cast went out to sea. And because uh, uh, they weigh 100,000 pounds, I doubt highly that they're going to float. So these are incredible time bombs out there sitting on the ocean. And so you can see all the cars and trucks up there are piled together. Obviously, the tsunami reached up there. And as you can see, this cut out, right? Notice how this cuts out and drops down. This is at sea level. So the tsunami was high enough to wash those cars all over the place. And so there's debris tossed all around. I have no idea how far the tsunami made it inland at this site in particular. We, we know that at some places on that coastline, the tsunami reached up to 140 feet high. 140 feet high. So this is reactor, the roof of reactor one. And that's the, the exhaust stack for one and two. Now, now this imploded. This uh, the explosion of this building was quite quite dramatic, and we typically show that video. Not not tonight. It's just too much work. Or maybe I will. Who knows? Oh, what do you? I wanted to get some pictures of the tsunami just to put in there for those who are not in the know. I might be in the right area right here, so give me a second. Or I might not be. Okay, let's keep going with these other pictures. Tough for sure the tsunami pictures would have been right there. Oh, there they are, so. Here we go. Because that'll give you some more context, right? I got to back up. So you can see the tsunami up there. Uh, these are all Fukushima site. This one, in particular, you can see it as running through the site. As it runs through the site. Uh, this is reactor one detonation I'm going to show you in the background. It's reactor one blowing up. And here's another shot of number one reactor detonating. This is a four, a four part. And so originally reactor three because we see it from above, but when you look at it from the side, this is what it looked like originally. And the, the detonation of it, it, it tossed out the reactor core and the fuel pools right out of the building. Now, currently, the media has put out videos where they claimed they were in reactor four. So when they go to reactor four, that's what it looked like. We are here inside Reactor 4 at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant that was severely crippled during the earthquake and tsunami in 2011. The bu uh, buildings, why are they pretending they're in the buildings that doesn't even exist anymore? It's important questions that we don't have answers to unless you're being honest and that this is an extinction level event. So why, why else would you pretend we are here inside that don't exist? Why do that, see? Why take it to that level? There's all kinds of medias that done that. We, you know, you actually find those videos on my site. But uh, I play those clips pretty regularly. So we're, that's reactor two down here. Reactor three is right there. Reactor four is up there. And the common spin fuel pool is up right there. <coughs> Uh, 
and this dramatic pixelation. So these are the original. Last time we done them, we didn't go through all of these pictures. We just went through the zoom pictures to try to, because that was the very first day that we found them, right? But my brain all day long, man, I can't get it. I was out working in the shed. I was out working both of the sheds. I had to do some work on the vehicle. Some water got in the headlight. You know, that's that's going to lead to if you don't deal with it. And um, so I hooked the vacuum up to a little hose and then sucked the water out of the headlight assembly. And then I have a heat gun. And so I had that, I laid that there for about a half an hour and dried it out. Because you, you got to take the whole front apart to get at it. But the light was obscured by the moisture, so I had to deal with it. And then I had a whole bunch of little chores that had to be done. So we're starting to get things done now. Spring is coming, right? Okay, let's keep going to this instead of talking about me. But I couldn't get any rest. I said, okay, fine. I'm going to go do the show. Then my brain went, ah, okay. So I've been fine ever since I decided I was going to do the show. And, and I was... But I uh, couldn't get any peace. I couldn't sit there and just relax, go easy. I, I've worked like a dog all week. And now we're coming back uh, from the south. And uh, that's uh, reactor one, reactor two, reactor three. Uh, the, the road behind it is all pixelated out. Why did Why did they release this? And the tenth anniversary, just before the well, it was January, so three months before the anniversary, somebody had pains of conscience, because Tepco ain't going to give you something like this. So it was obviously maybe it was some executive of Tepco who just got about to get fired, and decided to release this upon the official site. I don't know, or maybe somebody had pains of conscience. And said, "This is a warning for humanity to make Earth's last stand." Here's the evidence that there was more to the eye than the story they're telling you. And the drone goes back out to sea. So it's beautiful footage, high, very high quality. Hopefully this travels inland. That's what I'm looking for right now. I was back on the, heading back down towards reactor five and six again, I think. Yeah, that's reactor five and six, which is pretty stunning. And oh, that's the kind. That was that was south of the reactor site. That's reactor common spin fuel pull up in that corner in reactor four. Who knows? Right now, I'm look. I I shouldn't do it this, but I'm looking for anything extra pixelated that we didn't pick up the first time. And significant damage where the tsunami pushed up the road. Oh, well, maybe this is from the detonations too, because they're right by reactor one, right? But you can see the uh, there's a boat right there, upside down. So obviously the tsunami made it all the way to right there. Is there any damage on these roofs over there? Uh, there's two big uh, excavators back there. And a couple of fire trucks. That's down by the dry cast storage. Let's keep her going here. We're doing pretty good. We're looking for some extra footage that was pixelated. That's reactor five and reactor six. Why is why is reactor six pixelated out? Why is the dry or the pump house pixelated out? Let's just go down here and have a quick look. And thank goodness this was high quality, right? Footage from a drone. But I remember originally, 
I didn't zoom in on anything. I was just clicking along. They're like, oh, great, useless drone footage. And then I started realizing the pixelation, and it was just I was stunned. It. So the tsunami pushed all the way in here, right, all the way up. And that's the pump house in reactor 6 right there. Uh, we have no explanation of why reactor 6 is pixelated out. Nothing whatsoever. There's no traffic down here. There's no fire trucks hanging out. Which suggests that there's some something very dangerous when you see that kind of pixelation, right? Let me bring in some more headlines, a couple more headlines. Reactor 5 and 6. Because uh, there, there is some signs. Cesium rises by reactor 5 and 6 discharge at the highest level in months. That's 2012. That's reactor one again. Now let's head it back down there again. That's the dry cast storage right there. <laughs> it's gone back there doing the same thing. Now it's turned around, it's gonna head back, I guess. Yeah, no. Still heading north again. I want to see that pixelated area again, hopefully to get a better shot of that. And now we're back to reactor. And now we're behind. Uh, the common span fuel pool is right there. And at the top of it is reactor four. And so that picture in particular, we can, reactor four, we can see uh, the land side of reactor four. But the whole road, everything is pixelated completely out. So let's head it back towards the sea. That's the pump houses in the top. And so there's not very much traffic or very many people, obviously. These are lethal doses all over the site from the detonation. So it heads back out to sea. Let's just zoom in on them for a second. See if we can gleam anything from this. Because these are meant to, to take huge waves. You can see destruction of this. And the top of it is pretty destroyed, now covered in debris. But generally there's not, you can't really, that was wiped clean. And bless those poor buggers that were there, the firefighters. And we covered a story uh, a few days back on the firefighters, because the firefighters are not nuclear scientists. They had no concept outside. It's dangerous, but they don't understand the danger. And when, when the, the buildings are way over there and you're over here, it's not like you can restore water for pump houses or anything like that. Hopefully it keeps going this way. Let's hopefully it goes interior a little bit more. Come on, baby. Nope. Back to reactor five and six. There's quite a few pictures missing. But it's amazing. Thank goodness they released these pictures. And... Total pixelation, one, two, three, and four, and the common spin fuel pools, and reactor six. Uh, and then there's two more spots that were pixelated out that don't make, we don't know what was there, but they were pixelated out, which employ, and quite a ways away from tsunami damage. And so something that was dependent upon electricity, and we're back, let me go backwards. Because there was a, I'm doing the same thing again. 
back out to sea and back in let's hope it keeps going in this way for a bit further because I, I thought that area that was pixelated it was up in the top left hand corner right up there somewhere but we're not seeing that I'm definitely going to have to do more digging to figure out where those two other places were to. And so why did he wait 10 years? Why is everything pixelated? And why would you release them? Because it clearly shows a cover-up. It clearly shows a clever cover-up, right? And even the top of the stack is pixelated out. So whatever was on that back road down there, they wanted it hid desperately. And the common spin fuel pool and reactor six and two other places that were pixelated out that we never been able to identify before, but now, now if you go back into my playlist where I covered these 736 pictures as a single video, underneath that video is the links to all these pictures at TEPCO's website. You can download them yourself, and I, and I suggest you do. So we got tons of reactor six pixelated out, we have one, two, three, and four pixelated out, and the common spin fuel pool pixelated out. Let me go back at this for a second. What's going on? Yeah, reactor five and six. And we're headed north right now. And that's the seas back over the reactors. Common spin fuel pool again. What's it, why was it damaged on the back of this building right here? What caused the damage to the back of that building? Obviously, the detonations covered the roofs of these buildings. They're very close to the explosion. So did something go right through the building and punch out the walls too in the back? I got no idea. Common spin fuel pulled up. There's nobody stood up down there because these are lethal doses. And it's just going to go back out to sea, I think. Yeah. That's too bad. Let me go back. Let's go down, browse right down here, because so pumping water from the ocean was the worst thing you could have done, and that wasn't even a hail mary, right? That was more about manipulating you, thinking that trying to make those who are very and rightfully concerned think that they actually have it under control. That's what that was all about. Uh, sailing back over towards reactor five and six. Oh. So let's go back for one second and look at, let's go back through the building, uh, the pictures again We just ran through all the pictures. We want, what we want to go back and start looking for something that's pixelated. And then try to identify that over the weekend. What it was and where it is.
Because a lot of these pictures, I wasn't sure why they were released, but there must be a reason. Because they released these pixelated pictures. There had to be something else going on. Maybe it was just to draw the picture, but I'm just bear with me. So the buildings that are, I'll spot it in a second here. Maybe I won't. It doesn't seem to be um doesn't seem to be Yeah, so what I got to do is I got to go through every one of these p pictures and zoom in on everything in my own time, right, this week, and look for any abnormalities, anything that's pixelated, because we found two more places that we didn't identify before that were pixelated out. We're right around that area where we found that first one. When we in picture wise, was it straight in back here? Yeah, up there in the top corner. And eighteen eighty. Eighteen eighty. So let me go back. Now that we know roughly where it was too. Okay, so it was directly behind the common spin fuel pool. That was the first one, right? So we go back there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got no idea what they had poked back there, but apparently, it was pretty significant because they pixelated it all out. So this should be easy to identify because I got the maps of this site. I just don't know where to do on this particular kind of system. But there, there was there was something significant up there. And what were they storing up there? I wonder is the question, right? So we didn't see that before. That's eighteen eighty. And then we came to another spot. Then we came to another spot. After this somewhere. Bear with me. Let me see. So the drone is flying. It was kind of a weird angle too, right? Up here somewhere, maybe to a right behind me somewhere. This is the south of the site. Is this reactor five and, or six right below in the center? And reactor five. I think we might have missed it. Just bear, just entertain me for a few more minutes. Let's just check these buildings out. And we're back to the reactors there, so it don't matter. Meltdown, detonations, common spin fuel pool. Okay, I think that's about it. Then. I'll find that other spot <coughs> later. I must have missed it when I was flashing through all these. 
There's that's a different spot I'm assuming. And I think it was north east or something. So let me try one more try. See if It was like it was in the middle of nowhere and we couldn't figure out why we were up in that area, right? It was a weird I think this is just where we travel back to reactor six. Yeah, that's reactor no. It's back to reactor four and five. So I missed it this time around. So I think the other spot is up here somewhere. Because, okay, so reactor six is pixelated. We had common span fuel pools is pixelated. Uh, reactor one, two, three, and four pixelated. <coughs> I'm pixelated. <laughs> okay, well, that's what I got for you tonight. Hopefully now my brain will leave me alone. Let me get some friggin' rest. I'm only happy when I'm doing this is the problem, right? <laughs> Which is, that statement is pretty insane, actually. I'm happy, yes, when I'm doing this. So the, when we originally when we originally released these pictures, um, you know that's the story, right? But ten years later, ten years later, they dropped these bombshells on us, and we don't have any context. Nothing. We we don't have a clue what's going on. And I think it was released for obvious reasons to me because the research expeditions that I done is haunts the shit out of me all the time, right? Because we went out and done the whole coastline year after year after year and it was usually friggin' miserable. It was usually miserable every day. And the species to your left are exterminated. And we know that because we went back year after year, the species didn't recover. It's, it's an extinction event. And we've done the whole coastline from Vancouver, British Columbia to Alaska four to five months a year because we, we already had endless amount of documentation, endless amount of information. And when we went out and discovered the species were completely missing, and there should be around 7,000 highly visible species, then ha the only way to prove it was to go back year after year. And so I feel like I aged 50 years when I, after doing that. I, I really do, right? It's just, I'm busted up and I've never recovered from it. And so in 2013, uh, 2014, the media was claiming they were in a building that don't exist. And the reason was, we know now in hindsight, is because Fukushima is an extinction level event. And so I, I believe the reason they released those pictures, whoever done it, was a warning to humanity. It's time to fight with everything you got. It's time to give it your best because we're in real trouble. Was the 736 unseen before Fukushima drone pictures released in 2021 a message for humanity to make Earth's last stand? Because, and when you look at what the nuclear industry is currently doing, then yeah, this, this is Earth's last stand. Do that again. Okay, that's fine. So we're going to end that poll. Say good night to everybody. Have a great night, everybody. 
see everybody on the next show. My luck will probably be tomorrow. My luck, my brain won't leave me alone. Hope it does. But hopefully I get some rest this time. Have a great night, everybody. We'll see everybody on the next show. And uh, Back to where I want to pick up the next time, so I don't have to struggle. Have a great night, everybody. Hugs for everybody. We'll see everybody next time. Share this video out if you can. Have a, uh, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Take care, folks. <laughs>